Hey guys, it's Sunday, January 26th, 4.50 p.m. I almost said February. <laughs> um, if you've seen this clip, you've seen the prior clips. We spent the day and we went to the gym this morning. Aggravated my knee a little bit despite the cortisone shot, but it's all good. Um, and then I spent a few hours up in the art room um, creating the new studio palette for my Daniel Smith watercolor paints collection. Um, I've been collecting for a really long time. I'm not showing you the clip to brag. Um, I frequently from the beginning days would go in and buy one or two tubes at a time. Artist, artist quality watercolors are expensive and Daniel Smith is no exception to that. So I have been collecting my colors for a really long time. Um, that being said, it's a nice decent collection and I wanted to um, have all the colors in one palette when I'm here working at home. And yes, I'm in the closet. <laughs> I don't know. It's a quiet place right now. <laughs> so um, I have a new studio palette that you've seen. The um, base for the palette is a plastic palette that was gifted to me by my friend Peg Robinson. Um, it didn't work out for her for what she wanted, but she said the inserts in it come out, so it might work for what you want. And she's not wrong. Um, I took the inserts out and I used some adhesive tack to um, put half pans in. I can get over a hundred, well over a hundred half pans in, um, which is great because um, my Daniel Smith collection is not a small one. And even though that being said, um, there's room to grow in the palette. God forbid I need it, decide I need any more colors because, you know, I don't really think I do. Anyway, you never know. I keep saying that. I just bought indigo and burnt sienna, I think, yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so I'm going to let that chill out. I'm doing some chores today. Tomorrow I have a crap ton of video editing to do. And I want to play with my watercolor paints. So that's on the agenda tomorrow. And the next couple of days, editing is a priority to get all of February done. So we'll see how far I get. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Good morning. It's 9.21 a.m. or so <laughs> on Monday morning, the 27th. I think it's the 27th. Um, I got the vlog for last week edited. It's saving and rendering right now. Then I have to do the chronic pain vlog for that group. That goes right over into that um, Facebook group. And um, then I have all the February tutorials to, to film, to film, to edit. Hopefully the filming went well. <laughs> you have to review the footage and see if I need to refilm anything. I do think that one of them is going to end up having a part two because I'm already inspired to do something else with what I did in that tutorial. So, um, and it has to do with my creative year. And by the way, those videos may start um, being here on YouTube, but unlisted. And you might only be able to get them through the My Creative Year Facebook group. So I'm considering that right now. So if you're not a member of the group, you might want to join. Just saying. There's plenty of stuff for you all that's going to be here on YouTube. I'm not abandoning you, so don't go there. I, In fact, I have more content things I've been working off sort of off camera that I'm thinking, I want to film some of that. Um, so, you know, stuff that'll be coming up anyway. I need to take a shower now and I need to make my bed and I need to get dressed because I need to go take some Etsy orders to the mailbox and I've got to finish, finish. I've got so much video to edit. So anyway, I'm going to get all that done and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm editing video uh, for February. I'm going to be doing that all day today and probably most of tomorrow. Anyway, um, as I'm editing, Etsy orders are coming in that I need to fill. And I have a new patron over on Patreon. And I have a new supporter here on YouTube um, in the YouTube membership. So Christine Stahl here on YouTube, thank you so much for your support. And over in Patreon, Lisa Swank. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate both of you very, very much. And I will strive to bring you what I've promised <laughs> as far as content is concerned. Um, for hey you guys, all. it's Tuesday, January. I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't know. I think it's after lunch too already. Um, January 28th, 1.09 p.m. I spent the morning getting um, all of the 11 videos I edited yesterday um, set to upload to YouTube. Most of them are done already. It's still working though. Yeah, there's still a couple that are working. Um, getting all the descriptions set, getting all the links I promised. If I missed anything, y'all let me know. I filmed a couple more videos today, including here's a sneak peek for something coming up in my creative year. I love the way that turned out. I might have to do that on a big piece of canvas next. Um, anyway, it's up there drying. And I cleaned out my tray with all my paperclip stuff. I now have a large size priority mailbox. Large size? No, sorry, medium size. You see that box there? Full of random fabric scraps, paper bits, painty papers. There's some markers and crayons in there. I just keep throwing stuff in there. There's little mini pads of paper in there. There's all kinds of stuff. So anyway, at some point when the box is full, I'm going to seal it up and send it to somebody. Don't know who yet. So if you're interested, let me know. It's all kinds of random bits that to most people would be garbage, but to us mixed media artists are interesting. Anyway, um, what else? That's it for the moment. I really, really need to go eat some lunch. And then I want to work on Mike Deacon's mission inspiration for January, which I still haven't done yet. And I want to do some watercoloring. I might try to combine the two. We'll see. Um, and I also have a YouTube video from a kid that I was watching. I'll try to link his channel below or the video below if I can. Um, fascinating video and I want to try that. So yeah, I want to work on that too and work on my Gene Haynes book. So um, mostly though, I'm just getting ready for a day of physical therapy and errands and picking my dad up at the airport tomorrow. So I'm trying to get stuff done today in case I feel like crap tomorrow. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys. So it's, what time is it? 3.44. I got all of the videos loaded to YouTube um, that I did yesterday and two more are loading right now that I made this morning. So jazzed with the little painting that I did for my creative year. It turned out so well. It's expressive, it's abstracted, it's, I really, I really like it. So, um, yeah, anyway. To see what it looks like, you're gonna have to go over there. You need to be a member of my creative year. Good morning, people. It is Wednesday morning, January 29th, I think. It's 7 11 a.m. Um, it is dark outside. I'm going to do what I can to lighten up the video here in the video editor. So hopefully you don't see that, but if the lighting is weird, just so you know, it's dark outside. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I am up bright and early because I am headed to my first physical therapy appointment for my knee. I'm not looking forward to. Um, I've had a cup of co one cup of coffee. I've got another one with me, and then I'm gonna go home and chill for a bit, check on social media and all that stuff. Maybe get some art done, and then I've got to be back out of the house and go pick my dad up at the airport at um, just before two o'clock. His flight's supposed to get in just before two, so. It's gonna be a busy, busy day. I have to go to the grocery store. I don't necessarily have to do it today. I could do it tomorrow, but in the next 24 hours or so, I need to go to the grocery store, so that's on my agenda too. <sighs> anyway, I need to get past physical therapy first. <laughs> in one.
been the weirdest Wednesday. <laughs> Started off very early this morning with no shower and barely any coffee and then went to physical therapy. I was clean and all people, but you know, I didn't have much time to take a shower before I went. And I was gonna get sweaty anyway. Anyway, then I came home, I showered, chatted with friends for maybe an hour, ended up doing some more art supply purging. And I've got some stuff in the back of the car. I think I'm gonna drop some of it by the family center that we went to before in Tiger. They have an art room there, a classroom. And then a neighbor texted me. She was having problems with her new Apple iPhone. She said, are you, do you know technology? You know technology, don't you? I'm all, yeah, let me come over, hang on. So I went over and helped her for a bit. Uh, the kids lost out on another bit on another house today. Unfortunately, it's house number five, so we're still looking. And now I'm over at Portland International Airport. Headed to the cell phone waiting area because I need to pick my dad up at the airport on a Wednesday, which is not a great day to have to be at the airport because it's the PDX hub day when everybody for work is flying in and or out and the airport is crazy busy like every single Wednesday. Plus it's raining out because you know I live in the land of much water, many bridges and no direct route to anywhere and right now we're experiencing much water. <laughs> So, that's a thing. <sighs> anyway, it's been a day. Can't wait to go home and just be able to put my feet on the couch. It'll be nice. I'll be back. I don't know if I want those kinds of comments on the internet for people to hear. My career depends on it. <laughs> Just kidding. You are in advertising and social media, so, you know. There you go. Yeah. Although the colors of the painting are very complementary to the decor you have up there already. I told you I could get up there for you. No, no, you think this isn't great for my blood pressure. Lily's down there going, what the hell are these people doing? I don't see her. She's down there. I mean, dad asks me about that. I'm, I'm blaming you. I'm not taking the fall for that. <laughs> Did you paint them when they were all side by side like this? Yes. Okay. I was like, wow, that tree lines up so nicely. <laughs> Now the real question is, do you think Dad or Polyus are going to notice that you did this? Not right away, because they're boys, and boys aren't generally very observant. You all live on the vlog on YouTube. You all tell me if we're wrong. But men are generally not super observant human beings. Some are. Ours aren't. 
Now that I've said that, they'll probably both notice the second they come home. We'll keep you posted. Yeah. Hopefully this won't tighten. Maybe that's good enough. If anybody's wondering why I have this pole, I have a really big house. And it's the only way to reach the ceiling fan to dust that shit over there. At least if you ending that ceiling, a dad's not going to notice that. He'd never see something that was dinged out that far. I wouldn't think so. I love your father, but I don't think so. Oh. Lily, you're going to have to wait a minute. Oh, does she want to go outside? She's by the door. Do you want to turn that off? Okay, that? we'll be back. I mean... It's very noticeable. It is very or not? No, it is. Okay, and? Very I'm, noticeable isn't a good thing. <laughs> I mean, the guys will notice it, that's for sure. Okay. Um, I mean, they definitely need to be centered. That's nice, but they need to go that way. Yeah, like, a lot. <laughs> if I can get them over there without having them crash the floor and breaking something or... Yeah. Why am I doing this instead of letting her climb on the shelf? Because I'm afraid of heights and I'm a paranoid mom. Ask her someday about how I never let her climb a tree. It's a touchy subject. I was deprived as a child. <laughs> you know, I only had one of you. I wasn't going to get a second chance. So you just have to deal with it. You know what the thing, what sucks about this? If I get this up here, I'll never get him down again. Again, I would have to climb there. Somebody would have to climb up there or get a really big ladder. Whoa! <laughs> that almost went very badly. Pretty soon your house is going to be like a museum to your artwork. <laughs> and that's different than the old house? How exactly? I don't know. We had more photographs up at the old house. Uh, yeah. A lot of them had my face in it. I'm not so keen on looking at my face all the time. Keep going. Keep going. It can only go so far and then I have to push it back because it starts to slide and fall over. Holy cow, I don't even know if this stick is going to be long enough. Okay. 
I mean, on the bright side, they, they need to just come over a little bit more. Keep going. Keep going. Mm, let's smidge more. <laughs> that might be okay. What? On the clean dog bed? Yeah, I know. Letty just cleaned. Nobody, nobody in YouTube land tell Letty. Our lady who helps us keep this giant house clean, but I just messed up her clean. Lily uh, had linked on the dog bed. Lily had a freshly vacuumed dog bed. I know we love our buddy. She's great. She might fire me as a client if she finds out I just messed up her thing. Oh, mom. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I ought to not do that. I I think maybe we should leave them. <laughs> I was trying to push it back a little bit up against the wall, but... Mm. Oh, God. I won't do any more than that. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, how does that look? I mean, I think they could be pushed over like a hair more, but I think this is pretty good. The center one's just about uh, center with the TV. So why don't you come down and take a look? Okay. Because from here, they look like each equal distance blank space between this wall and that wall. Yeah, I think they're just about. Let me see. I think I got lint all over the place. All over that freshly vacuumed dog bed. Poor Lily. So much abuse. I'm just kidding. Maybe we'll make Just the kidding. boys come home and get on a big ladder if they don't like the big <laughs> Oh, I think that's good. Yeah? If you don't look at the doorway and you look at the little knee wall, the railing, I think that's good. I mean, if anything, they maybe can come over for this way. I'm not doing that. I'm not pushing them back to the right. It's not happening. I'd have to get up there. I'm afraid of heights. FYI. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Cool. Looks good. Bring some color to that empty, crazy, weird spot. All right. Do we need to move the little ball over? Yeah. The little metal things? Yeah. Okay. They look kind of squashed. I need the grabber thing, I think. Well, let's try the stick. I got the stick in my hand. I'm getting steps in bonus points. Let's see where the dog is at. I left her outside. You all know they're watching. Oh, there she is. So majestic. Oh, is Lily so, what is she doing? She's walking around. Just there we go. You all that are watching, y'all need to buy some artwork because I'm running out of places to make artwork. Becca, you need to buy a house. I need extra gallery space. Nope. Oh, dang it. You're no fun. What kind of supporting daughter are you? I already have one of your paintings. I know you need more. Oh, okay. Well, go visit etsy.com forward slash Gina Aarons. Hashtag shameless promo. <laughs> <laughs> the link is in the description. All the way in. Can you move the spiky thing over just a little bit? Over towards me or just the paintings? The paintings. This one? Yeah, the spike. Oh, there we go. Is that good? Uh, Should these yeah. two be reversed? Uh, no. No, we're good. Okay. Here we go. Good. Yay. Now let's see if anybody notices when they get home. <laughs> Lily, did you notice? It's mm. like, I know you guys are up to something. Look at that wagging tail. Look at that tail. Lily! People love Lily. Well, there we go. Lily. Lily, sit. 
Can you do a trick for everyone? That's not a trick. Sit. Down. Now lay down. Okay, roll over. Come on, roll over. Dog, roll over. D Come on, roll over. There we go. Yay! Good job, Lily. Good job. Hi guys, so what do you think of those paintings and the video my daughter shot for me? I think they look pretty good there. I did get another one hung up. Let's go down the stairs a few steps. Uh, hung up. It's not hung up, it's leaning. Right there, see the corner of it? Oops, there we are. Some more of it. I'll go down a few more steps so the light fixture's not in the way. So it's right there on that ledge. I think it looks pretty good there. Whoops, there. So I think that looks pretty good. Yes, my house is starting to look like an art gallery, but you know, I am a painter, so you know. <laughs> anyway, I uh, spent the morning uh, in between people doing stuff around the house for me. The gardener was here, the cleaning lady was here. Um, not capable physically of keeping this whole big huge house clean by myself and uh i have so many allergies gardening is out of the question not to mention i hate gardening um <laughs> so we have people here doing that for us periodically and when they are i don't really get a whole bunch of stuff done generally but i did get some new product uh packaged and in the etsy store this morning um I've been switching over the stencils from being wrapped in plastic. I think I have one, yeah. Because I'm trying to eliminate as much plastic out of my life and my Etsy store as is humanly possible. The plastic is not bad, for, not good for the environment. So anyway, um, I was wrapping the stencils in glycine bags, but the um, Amazon um, seller I used to get them from, it no longer has that particular size, so I went to Paper Mart, and I, they have this white paper bag, which is probably better because it's not wax coated. Um, and I encourage everyone who buys anything from my store to reuse even the plastic if you get something in plastic or the glossy cardstock or something. I'm not ordering um, custom product inserts anymore either. I'm putting in a scrap of um, right now, scrapbooking paper because I have a ton of it and let's let's use it somehow. So we're using it in the Etsy shop and then you get one of my business cards inside and it's sealed with washi tape, which I'm also using up, so yay. And then it's all things that you all can reuse in your art journals and your art um, as like a bonus little gift for buying the stencil. So that works. Um, we also got some more stencil waste in the store. The bags are a little bit bigger now. So that's good. Uh, stencil waste is the, for those that don't know, is the bits that they cut out of the plastic to create the stencil, all those little shaped bits. So my manufacturer saves them for me. And by the way, my manufacturer does custom orders and um, she does a resin tumblers and a bunch of other stuff. I will link her store, Etsy store in the description below. And I did get a journal page done for Mike Deacon's mission inspiration. I don't mean to give you all uh, any nausea or anything about turning so fast. Sorry about that. So his prompts this month for mission inspiration were colors of clay, amber, and sunset. Words were safari, jungle, explore, journey, and wildlife. And the quote was animals of the world. So I took all that. I decided to do sort of a mixed media thing. Technically, it's mixed media. My arm's getting tired. Um, technically it's a mixed media because it's uh, pen, pencil, ink, and watercolor. And I did a lion. Whoops, things are falling out. There we go. So that was good. I'm going to do another watercolor here right now. Now that we've got the painting situation straightened up, the house is clean, laundry's done. I'm going to do some more painting. All right. I have physical therapy in the morning and then I need to run errands. I'll probably bring you with me, but we'll see. All right, I'll be back. I am headed over to physical therapy and then I have to go to the grocery store. 
and all that jazz. So I'm gonna go try to get a bunch of stuff done and stop watching videos about the coronavirus because that's not helping my anxiety at all. We're out of physical therapy and yeah, did some new exercises. They push around on it, had me do some new things to strengthen, you know, the other parts of the knee that are not damaged and you know, it's a good thing, but it hurts. So anyway, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> um, so I'm all done with that. I'm going to head over to the grocery store and then go home and have some lunch and put my knee up. I would like to like head right upstairs and get some artwork done, but I think I'm going to just stay off of it for a bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's a thing. Maybe put some of the deep blue rub on it. So anyway, let's go see if we can get the grocery shopping done in a timely manner, shall we? Good afternoon. It is Saturday, February 1st, and it's about 2.30. And about 2.30, yeah. We spent the morning, well, Bob and Rebecca went to the gym. I stayed home because my knee was a little sore after physical therapy yesterday, but I got some stuff done upstairs. If you're watching this, you've seen a little short clip of that anyway. Um, then we went to the grocery store and we went to the thrift store. I've got another armload of kids' books. We're going to walk them over to the little book house. Try to get a few steps in. My knee is still sore, but it's maybe a 2 or a 3 out of 10. It's not too bad. I can live with it. And when we get back, I'll put ice on it. So it'll be good. All right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The stuff that smells like Ben Gay. He calls it my old lady perfume. So anyway. All right, that's it for the moment. Uh, I'll be back. I do want to say two things. One funny thing that happened this week is there's no, Re Rebecca, our daughter, cannot deny anymore that she looks like me. Her face opened my cell phone. Anybody who has a phone that has facial recognition knows exactly what I mean. So yeah, that was fun. 
And then we got home from the grocery store and Bob said, let's go walking tonight. I said, let's go walking now while it's still light out. Because last night we went in the dark and I stepped in dog poop. So let's not have a repeat of that, shall we? All right, we did our good deed. We love to encourage children and the young people to read. And it looks like I've inflicted my, uh, I don't know, fixation about that on our daughter because she and I both purchased some books at the thrift store and I just dropped them all off in the book house. So we didn't quite fill it up. It has a lot of empty spaces right now, but that's okay. And I should let y'all know, I don't live in the community where the book house is. <laughs> We're down the road, different community. I like to contribute, it doesn't matter to me. So anyway, we're gonna limp home, put some ice on my knee, maybe make a cup of tea and relax. It's been an interesting week. <laughs> but you know, any, any day or week on the right side of the dirt is a good day or week, right? All right, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, if you, I'll leave any relevant links in the description below. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please let, please let me know down below. And uh, my happy mail address and all that stuff is down there. So anyway, check it out. The most important thing, of course, is go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll see you later.